controversy is growing over a World War II veteran's health care. The 92-year-old who is blind says the insurance company is giving him the runaround, forcing him to pay out of his pocket for his own care. And now he's filed a lawsuit. Orange County Bureau Chief Eileen Frere talked to the veteran about his ordeal. Bill Crawford does his best to get around, but the 92-year-old admits he needs more help these days. He's legally blind and is healing after a hip replacement. I fell and broke my hip, so I was bedridden and in a rehab facility after the operation for a month. It was at that time in May 2012. Crawford said he was initially relieved he had long-term health care insurance. The World War II veteran recalls watching his mother in her final years struggling with no insurance. More than 20 years ago, Crawford signed a policy with Continental Casualty Company, or CNA, to avoid the same fate. Well, I figured they would be taking care of me. But two years after filing his first claim, Crawford says he has yet to receive a dime from CNA. One time they said they lost the file after, this is after a while. Another time they, they said, well, well, it's under review. And every, every time we sent in a claim, claim denied. Crawford has filed a lawsuit. His attorneys allege CNA places demands on policyholders that are so confusing that the only purpose could be to cook up grounds to deny claims. Crawford says that his insurance agent did not tell him that the policy was a reimbursement plan, meaning he would have to hire and pay for care up front and then submit receipts to try to get his money back. After paying nearly $60,000 out of pocket, Crawford says he supplied CNA with all documents requested, from doctor's notes verifying his ailments to his caregiver's timesheets. Continental Casualty Company says it cannot discuss individual claims due to privacy laws. In a statement, it says, we are committed to fair and proper claim handling for all of our customers, and we strive to provide our policyholders with the highest level of customer service and treatment. I mean, we have to look out for one another. William Pavone, a decorated Vietnam really? veteran, is now helping care for his neighbor for free since Crawford has had to cut back his caregiver's hours to save money. He's owed this money. I mean, he's paid into it and he should be receiving the benefits that he expected. In Newport Beach, Eileen Frere, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.